The next thing that you should notice is the number of participants will be here and you'll be able to click on them and see a list. At this time, you will only see a list of students by their first name alphabetized. Also, you can have the chat on. If you have that enabled, you can chat with everyone still, even if they can't chat with you. Over here, you have activities icon. When you click on that, you're going to notice that you have these options. The first one is breakout rooms. You're going to be able to see all of your participants and their names in the breakout rooms along with the number of breakout rooms that you want to add. When you add them, your breakout rooms will be here. You can shuffle them. You can always clear it as well. Any students that may not be able to get into a breakout room because of their device for that day can be put into the main breakout room with a group of students. You would just simply drag that person and put them onto the main call. When you're ready to do your breakout room, you would go to open rooms. All of them would be there and then you could join as the teacher, go to the breakout room, see what's happening within the breakout room itself, and then when you're ready to leave after you talk to them, you can go ahead and return to the main call. When you're ready to close the rooms, you would close the breakout rooms and they'll get a little heads up that they will be closing and then they'll start to trickle in after that. 